Welcome back to Final Fantasy VIII, my friends. We are standing in Takatur Island. Let me show you the location on the world map. It's this little island uh, right next to the big desert, desert in uh, the center continent. And we are about to take on the Jumbo Kaka Tour. Now, the Jumbo Kaka Tour uh, is one of the bosses in this game that has the highest HP. Uh, even at a low level, um, his HP probably won't be below 60,000 or so. Uh, but he does have certain weaknesses. First off, first things off, is weak to water magic. So junction uh, water to your ele elemental attack. That will make things a lot easier. Uh, make sure that your characters have a high strength uh, and vitality stats uh, because, um, like I said, the Jumbo Kaka Tour has high HP so you'll need to deal damage fast and his attacks can also deal quite a little bit of damage so it's important to have a high vitality to protect yourself um, It's... Like I said, water combined with a high strength stat uh, is all that you really need. Um, at this point you might have 100 ultimas already, uh, especially if you've been doing like I have and collecting ultimas from the drop point in Shumi village, at least one of your characters should, should have 100 ultimas by now. If it doesn't it's not a big deal, just put triple uh, in your strength stat instead of ultima and it works just as well. Um, to make the battle fast and simple to deal with, you can actually um, just um, make sure your characters are at a low health or cast aura on them if you have it, and that will... Um, it should make... Uh, it will make the battle a lot faster. Um, and you'll be able to beat Jumbo Kakatur in no time. You can use Zell, Squall or Irvine, both all of their limit breaks are quite useful, especially after you cast Meltdown. So, let's take this thing on. He's right here, I think I collided against him, so he should be good. When his HP is, is below 5%, he'll try to run away from battle, so you need to beat him fairly fast. You can actually draw and cast Meltdown on him, uh, which is what I recommend that you do. That will make uh, your attacks a lot more powerful. His curb plank attack is quite powerful, but since we have high vitality we should be good. His 10,000 needles attack can uh, cause can instantly kill one of your characters. Unfortunately there's not much you can do about that, you just have to revive. But it shouldn't take long at all to finish him off. See, he's going to use 10,000 needles. He always uses it uh, as a counter attack. Uh, it's really not a big deal though. So let's cast live on selfie. We might actually be able to cast wall on us and our two times well might as well take it use it to our advantage and finish this battle off. So now let me show you the power of Prince Azukan. I could have done a little bit better than that. So Jumbo Kaka Tour is hesitating, that means that he'll try to run away from battle and we can't let that happen. When, he's, when that message, is, message appears, like I said, that means that his HP is below 5%. Okay, that was much better. So this should finish him off.
as you saw, uh, you don't even need to have a maximum strength stat because combined with water you'll deal around 8 to 9 thousand damage. So there we go, he's beaten. And as a reward we'll get a Gaia's Ring which teaches your, guard, uh, your GFs um, HP plus 80. 20 AP and the Kakatur Summon which is what we came here for obviously now the good thing about the Kakatur Summon is that this beauty teaches you a bunch of bonus abilities so if, the, at, if at this point you want to start leveling up your characters even though keep in mind you don't need to Kakatur is the guardian force that you want to equip to one of your characters because he can give you an HP bonus um, a strength bonus, a vitality bonus, a magic bonus or a spirit bonus and that means that whenever your character levels up it will gain plus one uh, increase on that specific stat and that's why it's so important to wait until the end of the game to level up your characters if you want to because um, there's just no... there's just no advantage to to leveling up your characters early on since they'll be extremely weak because their their uh, stats increase very little. Now before I finish this episode I want to show you guys another thing and that's where you can obtain a place places where you can obtain very powerful magic. Some of pro most of you probably already know this but there are two islands uh, in Final Fantasy VIII which are stacked with powerful draw points. Those islands are um, the island the island closest to heaven and the island closest to hell. I'll show you the location of both. Uh, so right here we have the island closest to hell. Now these islands are uh, are both um, filled with very powerful uh, uh, magic draw points, which which recharge fairly quickly. And but they're also um, they also have very powerful m monsters at their maximum level, regardless of the level of your party. So they'll be at a very high level. So if you want to level up, it's a good a good place to do it. Uh, but again, if you want to stock draw points, like you uh, you the only thing you need to do is walk around. Um, actually, I need to create a little bit of space because well, I'm pretty much full. Uh, of magic at this point, so let's see what can I get rid of. Um, a arrow, I don't need that. Um, Irvine, I can get rid of a arrow too. And for selfie, we can get rid of, well, why not a arrow too? So, as you see, you can just walk around and use the draw points, there are a lot of them. Uh, see Ultima for example. Triple. So you can literally uh, stock up on magic quite easily here. Uh, we don't need Tornado, we already have 100. Another triple draw point. As you can see, very powerful magic, um, Meteor as well, the, the drop points that uh, we can encounter here, Just let me create a little bit more space, uh, you know what, I, I am actually going to use those doubles to convert them to triples in a little while. So let me see, what can I get rid of? Mm. You don't need zombies. Holy, holy flare, meteor, uh, ultima, full life, aura. These are all spells that you can encounter in this area. Um, and as you see, it just makes things a lot easier. So even though this might not, you know, it takes a while to, to just use these draw points, the truth is that you can also obtain pretty much every magic uh, from your enemies. Aside from Aura, aura which you can only draw from Safer, and 
you can obtain all the other magics and, and Ultima which you can obtain from uh, the last sorceress that you face during the time compression event and and uh, and are, you're all good to go Meteor you can get from Ruby Dragons too um, Flare you can get from Inferno Fangs and also draw them from Tree Face and uh, Ruby Dragons so now I'm going to show you the location of the island closest to Hell and the island closest to Hell has even more draw points than the island closest to Heaven um, like I said all you need to do is really walk around um, and you you'll eventually run into these draw points and the good thing about these draw points is that they recharge very very quickly so you know just enter some battles go do some side quests and before you know it uh, you'll be able to draw once again so the island closes to hell um, is located in the corner of the world map uh, right behind Elling city so keep going straight and it's right here again let me show you on the world map it's in the corner it's this island with this weird shape and again you just need to walk around and you'll encounter a bunch of draw points um, so let me... I don't need float anymore either so let's give Irvine some flares so this is a very resourceful way to... to stock upon your magic easily and without much trouble at all um, just a few runs around and you'll <laughs> pretty much you know do this a few times and at least and you'll you'll notice that you'll start gathering magic very very quickly um, and yeah they just recharge very quickly now very important remember keep having known encounter none Diablo's ability equipped because like I said uh, even with good stats the monsters that you encounter in this island you know ruby dragons t-rex swords and so on will be at such a high level that um, they can cause you a little bit of problems um, but you can also use um, tone berries uh, level down ability to reduce their levels and make the fights easier even though this uh, usually I use another method to level up my characters quickly and I'll show that later so yeah as you can see guys uh, just just keep running around and you'll be able to stock on a lot of magic uh, run around through here too and before you know it you'll just have a bunch of magic usually what I do is that I follow the corners of the island and that way I'm able to to, to like go in circle go in a circle and collect all magic and then I run around a little bit in the middle of the islands to collect a little bit more magic so i hope you guys found this segment useful thank you so much for watching uh, on the next episode i'm going to take obtain the bahamut salmon uh, so i'll see you there my friends take take care